Peace comes when your mind is stayed on God and His words. Isaiah 26 and verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So Isaiah 26 in verse 3 gives us a key to walking in the peace of God. In fact, the verse here, in, in this verse here, he uses peace, the word shalom twice. You will keep him in perfect peace. Shalom, shalom. You will keep this man in shalom, shalom, in perfect peace when his mind is stayed on you. So here is a key to walking in perfect peace. We must have our mind stayed on the Lord or our mind rested, relying or leaning on, trusting in the Lord. What does it mean to keep our mind on the Lord? It means that in every situation, rather than getting our eyes off on that situation, we keep our mind focused on God and who He is. So even if the storms are rising high, the wind is blowing strong, rather than looking at those things, we put our eyes on who God is. He is the Lord above the storm, above the winds and the waves. This is not saying that we are walking in denial, that we are uh, uh, ignoring the reality of the situation that there is indeed a storm blowing and there is indeed the waves rising. We're not denying that. We, we obviously are very aware of those things and we recognize those things. But our mind is rested on God, on who God is, that He is greater than those things. Uh, in Isaiah 26 and verse 12, uh, this, uh, the prophet Isaiah goes on to say, Lord, you will establish peace for us. For you have, you have also done all our works in us. God, you will bring peace into our circumstances. You will bring peace into our situations because you have done all our works. That means it is God who is going to enable us. It is God who is going to cause us to succeed. It is God who is going to cause us to triumph. It is God who is going to enable us to overcome our enemies and overcome our challenges. It is God who does all our work in us, for us, through us, and on our behalf. And so God will establish peace for us. So that's the truth that we hold on to. So we keep our mind stayed on who God is and what He will do for us and in those circumstances and the situations. Uh, it also means practically keeping your mind on the Word of God, on the promise of God. Psalm 119 and verse 165, the psalmist said, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. So people love God's Word who have the mind of the Word of God, they have great peace. They're able to walk in great peace because they've got their mind settled in the Word of God, uh, even in the midst of difficulties, even in the midst of troublesome situations. The Word of God is where they anchor their thoughts on, where they anchor themselves in. And so nothing causes them to stumble, nothing disturbs them, nothing unsettles them because their mind is stayed on the Lord and His Word. So here's the key. Here's a very important key to walking in the peace of God. Keep your mind stayed on who He is and His Word in every situation. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that You are Jehovah Shalom, the Lord who is our peace. Help us to keep our minds stayed on You and on Your Word, Your promises in every situation. Enable us to do this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.